Okay guys, so that's one of the front calipers. We need to remove those two bolts. I already tightened. When you put this back, you need to torque it to 35 newton meters. First time I remove this type of caliper, so we'll see how it goes. So we just put one here. And this is the second one, if it is visible. Uh huh. So. Do you want me to hold the phone? No, no, it's okay. I already untightened. Okay. Uh, this bolt is going through some uh, adapter that holds this reflective. So when you remove this, this will also fall to the side and the ABS cable is used by the same assembly. Let me hold it. Mm -hmm. I don't want it to look, look dark in the video. So this other, this. Not sure what they... Okay, so the second one. Then this comes off. I will just leave this in the place. It's like ABS sensor cable and reflective thingy. So we should be able to pull this off slowly, like just straight pull. Okay, now it came out. So first and most important thing, when you remove something, just look at the marks and directions. Uh, and it will help a lot when you put it together. So you see those two lines uh, on the caliper, this inner part. Those two lines are basically how, uh, you know, the pads are wearing out and finished. So usually in the book service manual, you will see that when this, there's like one millimeter left uh, on this surface. Uh, so this surface is just steel and this is the material just wears out. So when this line is disappearing, and when it's one and a half millimeter left, you need to change the pads pretty mm -hmm, much. Mm -hmm. So I will just pull this off from the side, one of the things. Let's see if it will come off. Okay, so what we need to do is push the pistons. I will use some sort of plastic tool to push those. Uh, then I will have enough space to remove this. So we need to push pistons in. Uh, without damaging anything so that we can take out those brake pads uh, when you change the brake pads the same process you will do the same you just put new brake pads so you will just push this so this is the piston that comes out you see it's quite dirty like you can just see it the color changed when i touch it that's why it breaks squeaks when you ride it so now we will just use some scissors or something then push the piston just a little bit slowly this then when the piston is in enough, you should be able to take the pads. I need to do it on the other side because there's not enough space. So just press it slowly. You see the piston went in. Hold on. So we have enough space to put it on the disc even. And another thing, we need to remove those pins. Uh, Which ones? Which ones? So there's a pin here, you see? Just like my mm -hmm. culprit, do you remember? Mm -hmm. So we need to push those so that we can take this guy out now. Okay. So to be able to remove those, uh, there are some small pins here. We need to push those, those two. Then I can just tap this back mm -hmm. when this backs off the whole thing will just come apart okay. so there are two pins here wire pins but they're not visible so if you use some punch you can actually push it from one side it will rotate now you can see it's exposed like this and both of them then you can use the punch and basically you will just lift this up like this so i'm just putting one on the both sides Then when you assemble those goes back. Then I can actually tap this in one side or just push it. 
Like I use punch. Uh, sometimes when it's rusty or corroded, it will not go easy, but this one was good. So I will just pull this from one side and just use punch to push it even. Okay, you can. Did you, did you hear the click? <laughs> that was it. After I remove the pin and the pistons are already pushed inside, I can just remove the pads. Usually, what I do, like I don't mix them. So when I put remove this, I put it on the right side, and then other one I put it on the left side. So as you see, when this came out, the hole goes into where the pin is, so you will know which way. Mm -hmm. Then check for the damage and other stuff. We will clean just with brake cleaner all of those. I will just clean the brake pads, the spring pins, and the caliper, everything. Mm -hmm. And from the other side is exactly the same. Mm -hmm. It's the, just the symmetrical. The part is symmetrical. Uh -huh. You don't want to use a lot of brake cleaners. Just use brush to loosen up. Mm -hmm. Then use again. Now we will just clean the caliper. We'll just spray all the insides. You can take out the basically the pistons a little bit. So you can reach more places and you will see. Now there are four pistons. Um, when we push the pistons a little bit inside, dust was under the uh, basically body. So what we will do, I will hold, for example, those two, uh, just uh, Rod Raven brother, just press, press the brake and just see how it goes here. Yes. Yes. Now I will hold the other piston more. You see other ones coming in. Now I will hold this others more. Now I will hold another piston. Okay, one, one more thing. Okay, good enough. Don't push more because if you push it all the way up, the pistons will fly, then there will be like brake liquid everywhere. That's more than enough. When you see the clean surface, that means we pushed it far enough. Now I want to clean also this surface. So now we'll just, I want to get those parts out of the way. I don't want this dirt a bit dripped on it. First I will loosen it with I will just show it on the other side. So, the surface. So I will just let this for dripping for a second, then I will clean uh, the disc as well. Shit. That's why it squeaks. And I need to, to do this every, I don't know, 5,000 kilometers or something? Every squeak. Every squeak. <laughs> <laughs> so I just turn the wheel, let's go to center stand, then I will just clean the rest of the disc. Another tip, if you ride in the rain a lot, you see those buttons, uh, this caliper is floating type, so it has two parts, this steel part and most probably this inner part is aluminum. So it is connected with those buttons. So if you want, I'm not sure if it's visible in the camera, you can move this left and right. That's why it's designed to be like self-aligning. 
So you need to also put some spray on this uh, brake cleaner because over time, if you ride in rain, uh, there will be some dirt and rust, then it will lose the self-aligning capability that you need to either change it or find alternate solutions. Uh, I use full floating calipers. Uh, I just remove the buttons and put the removable ones. Uh, those are pressed in the factory. You cannot remove them unless you drill them. I think this is clean enough. Oh man, it looks like you. <laughs> nice. So now we put it back. So all the brake fluid is not evaporated yet. I can see inside a little bit. So you, uh, this is something evaporates in five minutes. So basically you just need to wait till it's like fully dry then put it back in the reverse. Can you show to the camera your um, brake cleaner? Well, advertise. <laughs> okay, it's in check, but yeah. So I just waited till uh, brake cleaner just evaporated. So I can see all this dirt and stuff were gone. They're like shining. So we just need to push those back with something plastic. Uh, then basically we will be ready to put the thing together. So you should be able to press. I can even press, but when you press one, the other one will come out. So you need to hold the pistons as you press, like you need to pull the other pistons. And there are like four of them. There is usually a special tool for those things. If so, if you don't have them, you kind of need to improvise. But be careful that you should not let those pistons all of them out. So when I'm holding three of the pistons, I press one piston all the way in. Then when I hold the other two or three, so you need to press one piston each while holding others. I will just clean the spring, put it in place, put the pass, put the pin, and then everything will go together. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of springy. Okay. And then I will just put this one, the left one. But I will do this as a last thing. First, I just sit this. So you can even see it's coming out from the other side. First, I will put one. Then the another one. Oops. The holes should be this way. Okay, maybe I will just pull it from the other side. Like this. Then I will just put the spring and the, then the pin. So if you look from here, all the holes should align pretty much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you align it? Yes, I will just do it. Yes, yes. <laughs> just a second. I will just use something to push the pin. Jan, it it on the Ready? Yes. Yes. Push, 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 push. Not going. Okay, give me a second. More. Okay. <laughs> so now spring is pushed. Everything is aligned. Perfect engineering. So once we aligned everything, you can see this pin has two holes. So we'll just put those clips in place. Oops. Can you put more light, please? Yes. So I cannot see anything. And a second. Can you just put hold the phone here? Yes. Huh? Okay. So if you want, you can just turn this pin once you put both clips, so those pins will not be exposed. That's how it was. So I can just put the second pin. Mm -hmm. Should I leave it boiled or it's already boiling? I'm putting the second pin. Yes, yes. 
So I can actually using the pin, I can using those clips, I can turn those down and this will not go anywhere. Mm -hmm. Now we just put the calipers in place. So it's piece, you need to push little this up because those holes have some tension. So this reflective thing is brackets goes like this. This, this screw, I just put it from the top. Then I just put the calipers in and then I can just turn this by hand a little bit and align then I will just put the second one. I will just align it this way. So I just need to adjust it to 35 newton meters. Okay. Yeah, slowly. Like you? Yes. Did you feel some click? I, I feel. Yes. Okay. Okay. What? Ah, it's okay. It's done. It's done. It's done. Now do it on the other one. So you will feel some click. Uh, yeah, here you'll hear it. I feel it. Don't push. On. Yeah. yeah. I one more. One that's more. Good. Okay, that's it. No more. Now lift it up. Wait, wait. I need to. Let's who is the guy? I'm not sure that. Okay. Um, then can you um, lift it? Just use your weight. Okay. So. Let's squeeze it first to extend the pistons. Okay. Is it done? Pump it. Yeah, it's done. More? Okay. Is this how it was? Hmm? This yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Done.